What is up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve the quality of your microphone. So if you guys do find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so you're going to need to download three programs. So the first one is going to be WinWire. If you guys already have a program that could extract files, uh, you don't need to download this. But if you guys don't, make sure to download WinWire. The next program you're going to need to download is called Voice Meter. So I need to do it go all the way down. And download the one that says Zip Package. And the last thing you're going to need to download is called Virtual Audio Cables. So in order to download this, go all the way down and download this one right here. Alright guys, so once you're done downloading those three programs, go ahead and open up your downloads. And look for Voice Meter. So Voice Meter will be all the way down here. So all you need to do is right click, Extract Files. And I made a new folder so I could extract them there. So. I'm gonna just look for the new folder, new folder is right here, and just go ahead and click OK. So the next program you need to extract is virtual cables. So virtual cables is right here. So right click, extract files, and extract them to the new folder, and go ahead and click OK. And now go ahead and close your download, open up the new folder, and look for voice meter, and then right click, and run as administrator, and just go ahead and click yes. And for you guys, instead of saying remove, it's going to say install. Uh, since I already installed it, that's why this is coming up. Go ahead and install it. And for the virtual cables, uh, look for whatever operating system you guys are running. So I'm running a 64-bit. I would open up this one. So right click. Run as administrator. Go ahead and click yes. And go ahead and click install. So now you're going to have to restart your computer. So go ahead and restart it. And I'll be with you guys as soon as you guys are done. All right, guys, so once you're done rebooting your computer, go ahead and open up voice meter. And it might not look like mine, so uh, go ahead and copy these settings or you could download my settings. So I'm going to leave them in the description. So all you need to do is go to menu, load settings, select the settings that you downloaded and you should get something like this. So for the hardware input, you're going to select your microphone. So I use the blue snowball. And for the hardware output, you're going to select uh, virtual cables. So it should be the first one. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and open up Audacity. And um, for the microphone right here, you're going to select voice meter as well. And so what I got for you guys here is a recording without any edits. So I'm going to show you guys how it sounds before we start editing this audio. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the best settings to use in Audacity for your commentaries. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove any background noise this recording has. So I'll go ahead and select this empty area right here and you're going to go to effects, noise reduction, get noise profile and I'll go ahead and click control A to select the whole recording. Go to effects again, noise reduction and copy the settings right here and go ahead and click OK. And now let's see how it sounds. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the best settings to use in Audacity for your commentaries. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it a little louder. So go to effects, go to compressor, uh, copy these settings right here, and go ahead and click OK. And as you guys can see, the audio got a little louder, so let's see how it sounds. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the best settings to use in Audacity for your commentaries. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some bass boost and treble boost. So go to effects, equalization, and go ahead and select bass boost. And I like staying around 3 to 6, so I'm going to just select 5. If you guys want to see if you have enough bass boost, you could just go to preview. But uh, I'm going to just go ahead and click OK. And now I'm going to go to effects, equalization again, and treble boost. And bring this down to 3 and hit OK and now let's see how it sounds Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the best settings to use in Audacity for your commentaries Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Effects go to Normalize and go ahead and click OK and that should bring it down so now we're going to go to Effects again Limiter and this is going to even out your whole audio so go ahead and copy these settings and go ahead and click OK and now let's see how it sounds. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the best settings to use in Audacity for your commentaries. 
and that sounds way better so yeah guys this is how you edit your audio in audacity so hopefully you guys did find this video helpful if you guys did make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one